there are certain nail disorders that are seen in particular diseases. While we have discussed them in the particular diseases as well, I just wanted to compile them together so that you remember better. First of all, in lichen planus, we have read that there is a pterygium. If you have not, if you don't recall it, please go back and read lichen planus because if you don't know this, most likely your answer will go wrong in the exam. Okay. What is pterygium? You must have heard of pterygium in ophthalmology that there is a tissue that comes out from the middle you know, part and it kind of, kind of covers the eye. Similarly, pterygium over here is that a tissue comes from the proximal nail fold. This is the proximal nail fold. Okay, so it starts coming and it then merges to the distal part of the nail. Ultimately, splitting the nail into two parts. All right, so pterygium in lichen planus, this is the proximal nail fold. This is the pterygium that is growing. The proximal nail fold, it starts growing and it merges to the distal part of the nail, splitting your nail into two parts. Okay, this is seen in lichen planus. Buse lines and mese lines, we've already seen them before also, but we've not seen the images. So let's just see the images. Buse lines are seen in any severe illness. You've had illness for a very long time. You've had a cancer, you've had chemotherapy. Then you will see buse lines. Mese lines are very, very characteristic of arsenic poisoning. Okay, so what are buse lines? See, what is the difference between a buse lines and mese line? In mese lines, you will see these white, white lines. Let me just put it here you will see these white lines, okay? But you will not feel any depression. The nail will feel uniform. In Buse lines, if you look at the image properly, there's a proper depression here. You know, there's a problem in the nail matrix. So there's an entire depression formed over there. And in these lines, they're just whitish lines, but the nail feels uniform. If you touch it, it's smooth. Over here, if you touch it, you will feel the depression, okay? So in Buse lines, you have a depression. In Mies lines, there is no depression. All right. Then you have nail disorders. More other disorders are going to be half and half nails. That is seen in chronic kidney disease. This is a half and half nail. What happens here, if you look at the nail carefully, half part of the nail is red and half part of the nail is white. You see this? The upper part is red and the lower part is white. So that is half and half, half red, half white. Okay, so that is seen in chronic kidney disease. Then there's Terry's nails. Terry's nails are seen in chronic liver disease. What happens over here? How will you differentiate it from half and half nails? So half and half nails may a substantial amount is pink in color. Okay, in Terry's nails, you just have a little band towards the end of the nail that is pink in color. A small band will be there. You cannot characterize this as half and half, okay? Only a band at the distal part of the nail. So that is seen in Terry's nails. These are Terry's nails. And then you have Mushke's lines, which are seen in hypoalbuminemia, okay? These are simple white lines seen in protein deficiency, hypoalbuminemia. Okay? So these are the three other lines that you can see, basically nail disorders and the diseases that they're associated with. Coming on to the next topic, that is chromonychia. What is chromonychia? Chromonychia basically means that you have color in the nail. Chromo is color and nychia is nail. So you have some sort of color in the nail, that is chromonychia. In this, the very first thing we saw was leukonychia. Okay, that was the white color of the nail, white nail due to whatever reason, but your nail has become now white. The second thing that you will see now is a blue nail, okay? Look at this, the nail is clearly blue in color and this is seen in Wilson's disease, all right? The nail over here is blue in color, seen in Wilson's disease, a part of chromonychia. So chromonychia means leukonychia can come, blue nail can come. The third thing in chromonychia is going to be a yellow nail syndrome. What happens over here, the nails are completely yellow. But because it is a syndrome, it is not, an, not just an isolated finding. The yellow nail syndrome actually has a triad. So it has a triad of primary lymphedema, pleural effusion or bronchiectasis along with yellow nails. Okay, so that is why it is called as a syndrome. So it has primary lymphedema, it has bronchiectasis or pleural effusion. And along with that, it has yellow nails. Okay, so this is your yellow nail syndrome. Now, the fourth one is going to be your green nail. In green nail syndrome, what happens is that you have an infection. 
and the infection is a pseudomonas infection it is very important to just please don't make that wrong green nail is almost always because of pseudomonas infection it is pyocyanin pigment occurring from pseudomonas okay basically pseudomonas secretes the pyocyanin pigment that stains your nail okay so this is pseudomonas whenever you see a green nail think of pseudomonas infection okay the next one is going to be black nails and you can see the nails are black over here what is the cause the cause is drugs okay it can be tetracycline it can be zero wooden or it can be chloroquine these are the three drugs that can give you black nails so we have seen white nail there were multiple reasons for that we have seen blue nail we have seen a yellow nail syndrome we have seen black nails we have also seen green nails because of pseudomonas infection okay now with that we end nails these are everything that you need to know about nails and the various nails disorders thank you